Hello guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day here in Liverpool. Before we get into today's video, I just want to thank everyone who donated to Sean's place. Me and my barber ran a half marathon and we raised over 600 pounds. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, even though I just have run a half marathon and I've been active in the gym, I see myself in videos and photos putting on weight. And if it's not dressed today, then it's just gonna keep on heading in that direction. It's time to make a change. I've lost weight before, I know how to do it, and I'll do it again. And if it's a journey you wanna venture on as well, I'm gonna show you exactly how I went from this to this. So yeah, 17.9 stone. And I've been bigger than that in my past, but I've also been smaller than that. And like I said, I've been exercising enough. It just goes to show, you can't over-exercise a poor diet. The thing is, when I originally went from around 20 stone to around 14, 15, I was a big time weightlifter. And it wasn't until I started getting my diet on point as to when I started losing weight. All right guys, ready to do some science? <laughs> These aren't even my glasses. So BMR, basal metabolic rate. This is the amount of calories your body naturally burns in a day just to keep your body going and your organs functioning. Right, as you can see, I'm about to do a BMR calculation by putting in my age, gender, there's only two on here, height and weight. So my BMR is 2,155 calories a day. That means anything under that, I'm in a calorie deficit. So yeah, guys, assuming I'm doing zero exercise, I need to be eating under 2,115 calories in order to lose weight. And the healthiest plan in action of going about losing weight is actually to reduce that number of calories by just 10%. If you wanna do the same, weigh yourself today, first thing in the morning or tomorrow, stick to that 10% reduction of your BMR during the week, and a week later, weigh yourself again. Do this for maybe two weeks and you'll start to see slow progress, which is the healthiest progress, guys. And when it does start to stagnate, drop that number again by 10%. Right guys, we had quite a big breakfast today, but it was absolutely amazing. Thank you for that. I could have strived for less calories. I just thought we'll have a nice big meal in the morning and taper off later. So if you guys remember, my BMR was 2,115 calories. Now if you minus 211 from there, it's 1904 calories. That's my aim for the day. 10% less than what my body needs. And anything under that is gonna come out on my fat storage. This is what we had for breakfast video. So we had a New York bagel. That's 230 calories. Five milliliter olive oil, 41. One and a half large eggs each, 105 calories. 100 milliliters of semi skim milk, 50 calories. Um, 30 gram of cured ham 45 calories smashed avocado and lime that's from Lidl highly recommend 89p um, avocados are super food so yeah that's 33 grams on my bagel 53 calories then I had 5 grams of cheese 21 calories quarter of red onion 11 a banana which was 105 calories and a fiber one fudge brownie what a massive breakfast. So that's 748 calories for the day so far. Remaining, we have 1,156. So it's time to use them wisely. The good thing about working at Domino's is during the day, you can do whatever you like. So uh, today we went for a little walk, cleared my head, had a little coffee. How was your hot chocolate? Yeah, amazing. Oh, it's really tasty. It did look really tasty. Now oh, we're gonna head home and Ksenia's gonna make me my favourite soup. Yeah, some good soup. And then uh, I'm gonna head to work to Domino's where the temptation is real at the moment and probably the reason I've been putting a bit of chub on. <laughs> Right. 
Right, I got my favorite soup Casino makes me. Look at that. Hey guys, that is just an insane soup right there. This is, this is just insane. Honey. Oh. That was perfect. <laughs> All right, dear, I'm off to work. I'll see you in a bit. First, you want to take it I thought you wanted to carry it to the dishwasher. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> that food was amazing. I'm just getting to work now. I've got five minutes uh, before I'm expected in. So I just tallied up how many calories was in that soup. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't think it would be particularly high. But we've got 33 gram of onion. We've got 59 gram of chicken breast. Um, 27 gram when it was dry of white of white rice, uh, 104 gram of potato, 42 gram of carrot, and five milliliter, it's pretty much five gram as well, of olive oil. Oh, that 311 calories, it's such a filling um, meal. I'd recommend that to anyone. Um, that 311 calories in that whole thing, which gives us 844 remaining for the day. All right, guys, dinner time. The time is 10 to eight and I have a McDonald's, a wrap of the day. This is the barbecue chicken. This is the barbecue chicken and bacon one. It's 493 calories. I also added butter, 20 gram to my breakfast, which uh, I didn't understand. I didn't realize how calorie dense butter is. Now people might think, don't get a wrap from McDonald's for dinner. I, I understand. I understand why people might be skeptical. I did have a 355 milliliter Red Bull as well. Today I'm well under my calories because I could have ate even more. Very good. Hi there, you okay? Have a good one. Right guys, that was today's video and I hope I've shown you losing weight when doing it sensibly is not that extreme. I had a wrap from McDonald's, I had a very big breakfast and I just about managed the calories of the day to put me in a 211 calorie deficit. And because I worked out, I probably could have had even more. But I just wanna show you guys when you count your calories on the MyFitnessPal app. Okay, I wouldn't recommend being so extreme that you count on onions and stuff. I just wanted to set a good example with this video. But it shows that you can really figure this out and lose weight in a sensible way. When I first dropped my weight, I was shocked at like how much I was still able to eat when I was conscious of it all. But when you're unconscious of it, you're just taking all these calories. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this style of video. I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.